So we did um, Meryl the Barrel on Thursday's stream, our last stream. Um, how awesome does she look? I, I kind of fixed the bikini. I think I'm okay with that now. It's got a bit of a, it's got a bit of a, you know, I did a bit of shadow and highlight to it. So it looks a bit less flat now as well. You have very bad flu, but you're all right. Hope you're doing good. Haven't been able to catch your streams much lately. Well, it's good to see you, Lawrence. Thank you for stopping by, but I hope your flu gets better. That sucks. It's the time of year, isn't it? The cold January. Hi, leg mark. Hope you have umbrellas of height because there's a 100% chance of rosy raindrops. That's true. Rosy raindrops in a onesie, a bare onesie today. My, my onesie is the same colour as leg mark's name. It's pink. Although some people's names in chats are different colours to what they're meant to be, apparently. It's pink on my end, anyway, like Mark. How are you? I hope you're having a marvellous day. It doesn't look very pink, though, in the light, and it looks a lot paler than what it actually is. But it, it's lovely. It's lovely and comfy. So guys, we have got some more assets to do today. I'm hoping to get as many done as possible. Um, that is the goal. We spent all of the last stream doing Meryl because our bikini took like forever to do. That was the hard part. <laughs> but uh, we can we can get as many done as possible um, today. And um, we'll see how it goes and hopefully later on in the week... Um, we might be able to move on to doing some cuts, dialogue and cutscene stuff for this barrel scene. That will be exciting. Right, so, what have we got then? So we've got Cow's sister Meryl Flair Barrel is passionate enough. She wears a bikini. We don't have, we can actually put it in now without the question mark because we have confirmed that she is wearing one and next we've got alvira a normal barrel who insists she's an antique barrel she wears glasses she's brown and she has tarnished gold metal bits so we already looked for a reference for her so i'm using the image here on the far right to like pick colors for this barrel and uh, we made a start my goodness i am a sweaty betty Hi Sexy, how's it going? I'm doing good, Sexy. Very comfy today on um, on a Monday. It's a very miserable day in England, so I thought, oh, I'll put my onesie on. Plus, I've got a bit of a weird... I'm not, like, ill or anything, but I feel, you know, when you feel a bit, uh, I'm having one of those days. So I thought, okay, it's onesie day. Onesie day. Onesie and light combo can be quite warm indeed. <laughs> That's the thing. I only ever wear this onesie when it's the winter. In the summer, it's a nightmare. I think I wore it in the summer once on a charity stream because it was like one of the incentives and I had to wear it. That was fun. <laughs> um, right. NHK, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay then, so... Here we go. I'm excited to do Alvira. I'm thinking of doing her and Hank at the same time, actually. So um, we'll get the, their barrels done and then we'll add their faces. And then we'll have Woody and Carol's little cookie jar son to do. I, I would love to do them all today, but we'll see how it goes. You know what my streams are like. Lots of talking and distractions. I'll never complain about that, though. Let's get cracking, then. Um, all right, so let's get rid of the layers we don't need for now while we do Alvira. Okay, so we were just adding the detail stuff to Alvira, so let's start doing that. Oh, 
key. So I want to be super accurate with the the extra details and make it, you know, the amount of darkness much darker than it needs to be. So I'm going to just look at the pattern in this colour code and see how it is different. So I think it's 20 RGB less for the dark what bit on, on the top of the barrel. So that's easy peasy to do. Just change these numbers and colour them in. I think that's it. Okay, now the next bit is the shadow bit. Also, I am noticing that the music is getting quite loud through my headphones, so I hope it's not clashing at all. I'll just make it a bit quieter. Or it's going to sound weird. My stream, the music. There we go. Oh my goodness me. I don't want to take my onesie off though, even though I'm really warm because I like it. <laughs> I'll cool down in a bit. Be honest, it's probably because I only just got out of the bath. But I'll pull down and I'll be good. Okay. So this one, how much? Ah, uh, this one's a bit more complex. I'm gonna have to write the colour codes in notepad. Um So that, apparently that's it, Let's see how it looks. Looking decent, I might say. Oh, I think it's good. Um, now there's another layer. All the details has to be done now. They need to look as awesome as possible. I think that's ten less. I don't need to do it this way though, we can do it like this for speed. don't have to manually just fill it in there we go oh no we don't want to color in uh, Meryl she's not meant to be there we go Alvira's getting there I think she but virtually is done anyway her barrel now so we said that she would have got I think we said gold bits didn't we I think we put tarnished down but don't know how we're gonna do that we could say I guess um, oh let's do that again Thank you. 
Okay, so let's just get a colour from here that look like a good gold. Oh, that's green. That's bogey green. There we go. That looks um That one looks decent. So yeah, it's 20 lighter. Hmm. I mean, it might need to be a touch darker, maybe. is like kind of to me is clashing a little bit against the barrel but maybe it needs to be lighter then It looks more like a beige yellow. Let's pick a better gold. This could be okay if it was a little bit lighter, maybe. Mm. This one's is even warmer than the last one I had. That one's in the bin now. I'm sad. I was really sad to get rid of my old ones. Is. But they were old. Uh, what's up, Rose? Hi, C. CEO, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Yeah, maybe that gold is more what we need. We're still doing barrel buddies. We are indeed. Hi again, Russ. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Been off work, so you got to sleep in. Oh, that's that's nice. I hope you have a nice, chill, relaxing day. We're doing. Uh, we're going to be doing Alvira and Hank for the first half of this stream. I'm hoping we can make some good progress on her. Uh, on these guys today because uh, Meryl, she took the whole stream. Not that that's a bad thing. We wanted her to look awesome. Um, but 
we have a lot of barrels to do and I'm excited to do the cutscene. Um, right. So I just made this gold a touch more green so it looks a bit more old. Because this one is an old barrel. But good news is Meryl's bikini is done. She is looking lovely. And how are you guys doing, everybody that's just come into stream? How how was your weekend? We're getting there with the gold. I might mess around with it a little bit more though once we've added to uh, um, Alvira's face. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so Carol, the bikini. Okay, so should we do, we'll do Hank's barrel as well, I think. Um, and then we can do Alvira and Hank's face together. Well, one after the other, more or less. Um, sorry. Let's get rid of uh, this reference now. I might just hide it actually, just in case we need it again. Now, Hank. Yeah, I'm still not like in love with that colour for the uh, Alvira's barrel, the gold bit, but um, I'll leave it for a sec. So I'll spend all the stream doing it otherwise. Right, Grandpa Hank's had a disabled barrel with a broken plank and a hole in it. He's grey and dirty and he has a moustache. Okay, so is a grey barrel then? Okay. I like that we're going to make them different colours. So I'm going to look for a grey barrel reference. Hi Morph, how are you doing? Been sick since Saturday, but all right, oh my goodness, everybody's sick lately. I've had lots of people coming in stream saying they're ill. I hope you all get better. I see some bad boy oil drums. Um, as our, as when I put in grey barrel. But we surely have a wooden grey barrel. Uh, right. Oh yeah. So grey barrels do exist. Maybe something like that for Hank. Okay, so I've got a resized it and made uh, made it. Uh, okay, so uh, we'll put it here because Hank's gonna go in this spot here, right? Part of me th looking at Alvira now. Part of me thinking we should make her a bit darker now, actually. might quickly do that because she's quite close to Carol's colour as she is there's a difference but she could be darker just a little bit what are you drinking Rose that's the secret it's not contagious, I promise. Oh, no. Rose only drinks the finest of blueberry juice. Zexy knows. <laughs> Zexy knows. No, I don't drink blueberry juice. I would never, ever murder the blueberry. Ever. You tricked me there. 
making me think that it was somewhat good. Okay. If we made it 40 darker, would that be too? No, we'll make it 30 darker. this be too dark I think that'll be cool um, we'll see anyway I might end up changing my mind but I want to I'm super curious what it should look like because a dark barrel So, if you're wondering what we're doing, and we just walked in, I'm just making our Vera's barrel a little bit darker. Um, I think having a con, like a, a more clear difference in the colour of the barrels, will be a good idea because it'll make them stand out more as characters and more distinct from each other. Um, Alvira's old colour was not too much different to Carol's. It was a little bit more brown, but I'm going to try and make it a bit more different. What software is that? It, this software is a software called Graphic Scale. Um, it's probably not the best pixel art software out there, but I like it. I've been using it for many years, so it's what I'm used to using. But I've heard that there's some really, really good ones out there. But this one's a free one. I feel like now Alvira's darker, the gold will look better against her as well. Um, though I want to see if we can change it just a touch. Like whether we should have the gold need more of a greeny gold or an orangey gold. I'm thinking greeny gold just because it gives more of an old feel. Water bottle now because I'm thirsty. That drink makes me thirsty. There we go, camera. Okay, so Hank time. I'm excited to do Hank. Uh, right, so just do it all over again. And this one is the last barrel now. 
Um, out of all the companions we're doing, Hank is going to be the last barrel. So, um, we'll put the background back there though, so we can get him in the right place. And we'll copy Alvira's barrel. So I think that is what it's meant to be. Yeah, that's correct. So let's get rid of that now. Okay. So we're gonna make we're gonna use this uh, barrel underneath as a reference for Hank. Um Yeah, maybe maybe that kind of grey will do. Um, ignore the brown outline because we will change that to a, a grey when we uh, start putting the layers over him. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go notepad to write these numbers down. I think that's Alvira's lid might be a bit off. I mean, might need to edit that a bit. Um, four, four. That's apparently the right colour. But since we made Alvira darker, I think that's a bit off. But we'll sort out. Once we've done Frank, I mean Frank, I mean Hank, fail, forgetting the names. Well, it rhymes at least. Uh, okay. I think Hank is my favourite. Well, he was my original favourite. Whether he'll stay as my favourite, I don't know. I'll, just, I'll make my decision once um, they're all done. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Sixty, I think. Sixty darker. That is the right colour. Hopefully the no brown bits I missed, but I think it's all oh no, I've done it on Alvira. Oops. I got carried away. It's gone now. Right.
Hi, doll. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. How is your day going? I was reaching for more of my drink because it was super yummy, but it's all gone now. I can get some more. Um, right, so. Hmm. That is the colour. I'm so excited to put their faces on, Alvira and Hank. Hopefully they look good. <laughs> Okay, so now Hanks. To be honest, I can kind of see these ones being maybe close to Carol's colour. We'll see how they look on Hank. Oh, did I? No, I didn't do it. Get rid of something. Yeah, they're a bit more. Carols are actually like a blue colour. Hank's more grey. So we'll colour them in like that. <laughs> what a lovely barrel. Okay, so. I'm I'm okay with getting rid of the references now, I think. Well still I won't, I'll just hide the layer. Um Yeah, I made it a bit more green. Um, kind of want it to look like an old gold. I hope it's not too green, but I think it's okay. We'll we'll get the face on now and see how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to open Photoshop now. Um, Alvira, I think really the only unique feature about her, let's look at the notes again, I think it's just the glasses. Uh, 
Um, yeah, just glasses. So she's just an old lady with glasses, really. And Hank, he's got the moustache. Oh, also Hank's disabled, so he needs a hole and broken plank as well. But I'll probably add that after, I think, once we've added his face, because then we'll have more of an idea where to put have the hole and plank. Um, okay. I will open Photoshop for you guys in a sec. Okay. Right, here's Carol. Here's Meryl. So I'm going to, yeah, copy, copy this image, make a new one from this. So Alvira, the barrel. My goodness me, I'm very dehydrated today. And I've constantly been drinking water. Um, okay. Alvira. Right, we're gonna I'm gonna just flatten these layers. Temporarily. So I can bring it into Photoshop. Let's pop her, pop her on the top. Okay, so let's get a face on Alvira. I'm super excited. Um, right, so she needs to look like an old lady. I'm actually gonna just open the generator of RPG Maker just to see um, what features we've got that might suit Alvira. It's probably, will be a little bit easier that way. Um, Cause then we'll know what we're looking for. Hi Van, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a good start to your week, Van. Hopefully no more meetings. Okay, so I'm um, gonna have to hide these so we can see RPG Maker. Okay, so let's open the generator. All right, so if we go on female. So yeah, um, we have, I think that's all an old face, isn't it? Um, but it's, it's gonna be hard doing that on a wooden barrel because obviously that's skin. Well, let's see what else we have. Any old eyes? That they look like old eyes. <laughs> um, if we if we make her hair grey, it'll probably be a little bit easier to do an old lady. Okay, so let me just have a look and for eyes. So it'd be, I think it'd be nicer to see which eyes on here rather than just randomly open any in Photoshop. 
Um, They kind of look like old eyes, but we're going to have glasses on her anyway, so her eyes will be kind of covered up. Let's see what glasses we do have, actually. Are they old lady glasses? No, are they? I suppose I'm trying to think what might be the best glasses for um, her to have, but we can make that decision when we put them on the barrel. Certain glasses might look better on the barrel compared to others. Um, and other than that, is there anything else here that might help with the aged look let's have a look we have scars and bruises here i think that these sort of things are sort of for the older npcs so we can we can spring some of those in and just use them as a reference to add on the barrel i guess Mouth. Yeah, I don't think she'd be wearing the lippy eh, like Carol and Meryl. She'll probably just have a normal mouth. What about nose? These are dwarf noses, but maybe we could use those. Like for the shape, I think they might be good. We'll see though, we'll see how they look. Well, um, we won't know until we put them on the barrel. Okay. My goodness gracious, I'm gonna have to need to go to the bathroom in a sec because I've been drinking water all day. I don't know what's... Do you ever have those days where you just are thirsty? No matter what? Because that's me today. Okay. I'm excited. I, so Elvira was really popular when we did the poll. I think she got the most votes. Everybody liked this barrel. So she's the one that... 100% got through i believe hank only just scraped getting in okay generator face female um right let's see if we can find those eyes they're just the most like slanted ones i guess Let me just have a peek at the generate for the shape. I think that this might be the, the eye. I'll open those for you because we need some pupils as well. I'm pretty sure this one. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it was that one, but we can test both and see how they look. Might be that one. 
I have those days, yeah, especially if it's ridiculously hot outside. You know, it might be because I'm wearing my onesie, but I, I've been like it before I even put my onesie on. So it can't be. I've been just drinking water all afternoon. Hi, Liquid. Wait a minute. This is Rose's channel. Why is there a pink bear here? What did you do with Rose? I'm Rose Rawbear today, uh, Liquid. Look. It's even a, an emote. It's proof. I, I transform into a bear sometimes when I feel like it. Whenever I want to be cute, that's what I do. How are you anyway today, Liquid? I hope you're having an awesome day. Hope you've been well. And I, have I said Happy New Year to you, like, yeah, Liquid? Hi, Box. I am, I am half bear now. Um. Okay. So, guys, we we are in the process of doing more battle assets. If you don't know, um. Carol the Barrel's very famous in our game. Everybody knows Carol. Um, we did her sister Meryl on Thursday's stream. She's done. And we're doing Alvira, her grandmother now. And then we're going to do Hank, her granddad. And then we've got two more characters to come that aren't barrels. They're other objects, but they're going to be really fun to do, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm going to use Carol's face as a template, I think. Because we... We sort of want to make sure we get the features the same in line with each other. So I'm going to just copy Carol Carol's face because I don't know where it is in Photoshop. There we go. But that's where it goes. Um, so let's just make her a bit like that. Yeah. Okay, so probably about there for Alvira's eyes. I'm trying to make her have more old lady eyes, if that makes sense. So we just got to try and make her look like an older person as best as possible. Does she look evil? We're going to be giving her glasses anyway, so her eyes are kind of going to be a little bit hidden. Maybe these pupils will be better. Not those ones. These ones. Why do they keep, do I keep copying and pasting them ones? Silly, silly. There we go. I don't think I did the layer clicked. That's why. Um, and the other eyes were these ones, so we can see which ones are better out of the two. But these were definitely probably the best for Alvira because they're a little bit more. They're not as big. Like the big-eyed ones look definitely more youthful, probably. Not bad, could use another weekend. Yeah, well, I think we need an extra day in the week um, where we all just chill. I think that should be a thing. What would we call the extra day in the week? What would the name be? Now, I'm probably thinking that was, but I don't think we should give her blue eyes. Um, Meryl had blue eyes. Carol's got green eyes, has she? But the very dark green, almost like a brown. Now, what colour eyes would suit Alvira? Ch oh, yeah, it should be called Chill Day. That would be perfect. That is what we need. Right, instead of doing the eye colour like that, because it messes up the the shading and the highlight bit, I'm going to do it on a blending mode instead. Um, I'm thinking give her like a hazel colour, a bit like so it can complement this, this part of the barrel, just probably a little bit darker. Maybe a bit more green. I 
think, yeah, probably that mode. Oh, actually that one, maybe. Okay, so we've still got loads of stuff to do. We need to give her eyebrows, we need to give her a mouth, her nose, glasses. So we we haven't even come close to getting our Vera done yet. And we just like put a bunch of features together and hope for the best. That's what we're doing this. It worked for Carol, and it worked for Meryl, so hopefully it'll work for our Vera too. Duvet day, yeah. Where do you, where would it be in the week after Friday before Monday, in the middle of the week? What where do you think duvet day should be? I think we should make it a thing, everybody. That'd be cool. Be awesome. Uh, right, I'm gonna get a nose. I'm going to use a dwarf nose, I think, because the other noses, we could either use the nose we've used for Carol, but maybe it looks a bit youthful, that nose. So, the main thing is we, we do make her look old, because she's a grandma at the end of the day, so that is the challenge with this particular barrel. That's what we're going to do. So I'm thinking there's two noses here, we'll see which one looks best. We'll have to change the colour of it though because it's got human skin on it and that won't suit a barrel. Um, about there apparently. Right. So first of all, we have to get rid of the barrel line behind it. This song is so sad. Makes me want to cry. Okay, so that's the first job done. Um, right, now I have to make this look like a proper nose because it's very human, human skin at the moment. Um, I'm going to have to look at Carol's nose as a reference, I think, because I've I completely forgot how I did carols and if we can go for a similar kind of look we'll be fine so it seems like we we use two browns and then we use this light color here for a highlight and I think the browns we use are the same browns for the barrel lines and the um, shading on the barrel so that would be these particular browns um, so we're going to just use this nose as a sort of template, really. I just don't know how it's going to look. <laughs> um, how did it look on the old lady? Hmm. Yeah. We'll try our best. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Duvet, and Saturday. Oh, you think it should be between Saturday and Sunday? That's interesting, uh, Box. Do you guys agree? Duvet, some people live in humid climates, so duvet is too heavy. So what would you call it, liquid, then? Onesie day? Should we call it a onesie day? Therefore, I don't get a sound box. 
Spend like five hours grinding hours and unlocking all her limit breaks and everything. She's come back, right? <laughs> I think you can use cheats to bring her back, can't you? I never bothered, though. You can name it whatever they want. Neglected hours as much as you could. <laughs> I actually, I got all her limits and her ultimate weapon just for the achievements. Because I'm a, I'm a nerd. Um, right, this nose is really challenging because it's a it's a big old dwarf nose. It's, but it's gonna it would look marvelous <laughs> if we could get it right, but it's gonna be a toughie. Oops, I accidentally did it over the wrong layer. God damn it! Um. Because I think we don't want to make the outline of the nose too thick. Because Carol's isn't. I think we only use one pixel for the actual nose. But there's a bit of shading as well that we can do that after. It's going to look really... I think I'm not confident with this. It's going to look deformed. That is not a nose. That looks horrible. Oh my goodness me. That's hilarious. <laughs> But it's like really weird how. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to just print screen something for a second. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, guys. So basically, what I've done is I've copied and pasted the one that. What it should be. Okay. I'm actually going to use that as a reference because it's a lot harder to do a, you know, do it when you see it looking as it does. But seeing it like that will probably be easier. And I'm actually going to just delete it. Actually, I will delete it, but I need to put some kind of guide there. so I know where the nostrils are and stuff. <laughs> okay, now I can delete it. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be uh, an interesting one, but I feel like this is probably the best nose for for, for Alvira. So she, she, so she does look, you know, considerably older. So we don't want her to look youthful. Most days are named after gods or heavenly bodies, so we should name it Scarlett Johansson Day. We should name it. Um, I was trying to think of someone then, but I can't think of anyone. <laughs> Fail. Yeah, on my second playthrough, I named Red13 as Nanaki. So when he reveals his real name, it's all Nanaki. <laughs> That's so funny. I love the name Nanaki. I, I think it's very cute. And I want to do the same thing now in the remake. I want to call my Red Nanaki. I'm copying your leg, Mark. Okay, so, right, where's Carol's face? Yeah, we'll just have a look. See, yeah, we do one pixel, and then we do one pixel of shading as well. I don't. I want to try and make sure we stay as close to that style as possible with this nose. So we don't, so it doesn't look too different. So let's see what we can do. Um, all right, let's get the two colours. What's the shortcut for flipping the colours in Photoshop so I don't have to keep pressing the arrow? Hmm. <laughs> 
yeah I'm not going to do mine as detailed as this but I'm going to try and do a simplified version Right guys, I'm going to have to have a quick BRB I think because I need the bathroom after all the water I've been drinking. Um, like inverting them, control I. Oh, I mean, um, you know these two colours here on the left, the two browns I've got, dark and light. It's those. It lets you swap them with by clicking that arrow. But I'm wondering what the keyboard shortcut is. Because I'm sure there is one. <laughs> I hope there is anyway. But no, not invert. Just just literally that. Because those are the two colours I'm using at the moment. It's X. Oh my god, that's the, that's the easiest shortcut in the world. You learn something new every day. There we go. We I know it now. Thank you very much, Leg Mug. For some reason, I did in my head it was going to be something very overly complicated. But it's literally just X. How cool is that? I'm going to just zoom out and see how this is looking. You know, we, we're getting there. We've only done the bottom bit, but yeah. If we can copy how cow's nose looks, but just do make it look more like that, I think we've won. <laughs> Who knows? Oh no, yeah. I haven't said that today. That's the first time. I think one I use most is Control Shift D for flattening the layers. Yeah, I I'm usually like really silly when it comes to editing software I, do, I just don't eat shortcuts most of the time but I'm trying to make life easier for myself now and learn all the shortcuts okay guys I'm gonna be back in a few minutes uh, feel free to chat amongst yourselves um, and I will be back shortly see you in a bit see you in a sec
I am back. Hello. Oh, good now. Eventually, they become second nature muscle memory. I'm going to start doing it. <laughs> okay, so. Um, right. I think we need to make the nose a little bit more, yeah, that that kind of shape. What's Carol's again? Welcome back, thank you Dexy, appreciate the welcome back. If we do that, it'll join up nicely with the barrel line. I think Carol's does. No, Carol's doesn't do that because she has a mouth. <laughs> right, I think we should get rid of that too then. So she's going to have a mouth somewhere here. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Oh no, hang on. Where's the highlight on this nose? Carol has a highlight. Can I look silly? It's very hard to tell where the highlight actually is. It's all pale, but 
Let's make it a little bit. Not sure about position of that one. Maybe something more there. Maybe. The music is lovely, very relaxing. What is it? I believe we're still on the Final Fantasy VII music playlist. I'll give you the link in YouTube actually. Um, there you go. It's a relaxing Final Fantasy VII music playlist and I've got it on loop. Thank you, you're welcome, say. Okay, we'll get rid of that now served its purpose right so we need some eyebrows that's for sure um maybe give her the eyebrows now because so, there's definitely something a bit odd without them then maybe give her the glasses afterwards and then pick them out once we've uh, figured that out Okay, so Carol's got super bushy eyebrows, Meryl's got thin ones, Elvira though, well it's Elvira's personality like, she's like very, did we say she's going to be a bit of a prude, because she doesn't approve of uh, Meryl and the oil drum, um, this is a sound like PlayStation 1 MIDI chipboard sound. This specific song is an abomination. <laughs> Not true, Final Fantasy Seven. I can't. I can't actually hear what's on at the moment because I've not got my earphones in. But I think some of them um, are piano collections. You know, it's, I've, I've just had a look at the. Uh, so some of them are piano versions of the MIDI files. Maybe that's what it is, like, Mark. Do you have a, a favourite specific song from FF? Mine has to be, um, ooh, six, I don't know the soundtrack as well as the others because um, I didn't I didn't play much of six, but I'm, I love seven, eights, tens, and nines is pretty decent too. Um, I've, I've got, there's so many, that's a tough question. But I think Seven kind of is pro probably has most of my favourite tracks in. But I, I do, I am very fond of eights and ten soundtracks as well. Six, six is some beautiful ones though, from what I've heard as well. It's beautiful, I will actually, I'll make sure to remember to listen to that soon. Is Six your favourite game in the series as well? Okay, so I'm going to get two eyebrows out and we'll see which one looks the best. Are they worried eyebrows? There's a bit of a worried look to those ones. I 
Okay, so we need to make them... Did we say we do them all the same colour as our barrel uh, lines? Yeah, we do. So that means... Vera, you have uh, these colour. We'll change them from the blonde and see how they look. And then make the decision of which ones were best. Um... I think I actually like the worried ones, actually. You've got a bit of personality more. And she's very... she. I suppose she's a bit worried, maybe. She worries for Meryl. Hmm. Feel free to say what eyebrows you like the most, chat. But we'll give her some glasses and sit, maybe the, we'll make our final decision about the eyebrows then because the glasses will make a big difference. Um, so glasses time. Okay. There's a few different types of glasses actually. There's four <laughs> types of glasses. So I'm going to open those. The bigger black ones. Oh, those are carols. Um, if the black ones are. She's going to stay that the same colour as her barrel. Um, okay. Yeah, she doesn't look like a lady yet, but we'll make her look like a lady. She can have a lady mouth. <laughs> I've got an itchy eye. Um, I'm not sure about these glasses. I want to see what they all look like. But I don't think we should have... Um... I'm not sure if we should have that. It. We don't want that this weird outline stuff though either. It looks really weird now I've got rid of the um got rid of the inside. Do they all have insides like that? It probably looks okay against human skin, but it doesn't against the barrels. Just too light. So we'll have to get rid of it. These are uh, maybe these ones are the uh, best old lady glasses, the square ones. I don't know. Maybe the round ones are. <laughs> they all just look bad with that uh, glass bit. Too bright. But we'll, we'll fix it. I think we need to get a mouth as well before we 100% finalise glasses. I think we, a mouth could add a lot to her. Um, 
Maybe we should give a lipstick just so we she definitely looks like her. Like a lady. <laughs> um There's a mouth here. Uh, oh, yeah, it was the mouth was a bit tricky with uh, Meryl to edit as well because it was like human colour. I don't know why the mouths look so bizarre against the wooden barrel. Um, yeah, the map. I think there's a few layers. That's why. Um, let's find those. I'm looking for a more like prude mouth, I guess. But I'll probably might give it lipstick maybe. So mouth 17. Okay, I think it's got two layers, so we'll open those. I'm going to look for some other eyebrows because I'm not sure. I'm still not sure about the glasses yet, but they might be the best ones. Um, also, colour of the glasses. Should they be the same? Should we have them the same as the gold part of the barrel or should we have them darker, guys? What do you reckon? We want them to stand out enough. So maybe we are better to go darker. Oh um, no. Darker colour rather than the same colour strip? Yeah. Just exactly what I said. Sexy read my mind.
Okay, so we've got to fix her a bit. We've got to give her some brows. I wasn't sure about those ones, so we'll look for some others. Um, let's make sure the lips are uh, correct. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just go in RPG Maker, find the matching lips. Um, which I believe are those ones. Print screen and so uh right, let's just go here. What's the difference here? I'm gonna just I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna copy and paste that. So I want to try and achieve this look, I guess. We might, we'll give her some, uh, oh, we haven't given her the cheeks yet either. So there's still a little bit to sort out with her, she's not, she's not exactly we, we get in. I completely forgot about the cheeks for Carol. Because um, they will add the femaleness to her. Thank you, Sec, for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. So I think, I think that's where the cheeks go. Get Carol. Yeah, it is. So let's get them fixed first because they're an important feature. Um, have we just got rid of the nose? I don't think we have. Let's just delete this. Yeah, we got it back now. Do those lips. Okay. There's so many layers here that you lose you lose track. There we go. Um, so, okay, just looking at the right shading colours so we can make them match. Thank you as well for the host. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good week so far. Okay, Carol, your face has to disappear because all I can see is Carol the barrel at the moment. <laughs> um, there we go. Goodbye, Carol. Um, right. As much as I love Carol's eyebrows, you know, they're very distinct to Carol. So I've got a Carol only. Um, mm. Okay, so the colour we use for I 
I don't think it's that quite as dark as that for the cheeks. It's probably yeah, something. Okay, so now let's fix up this mess. And just delete the brows. They're in the way. We'll get we'll sort those out afterwards. Um right, so Matt, how did we do these cheeks again? Did we literally just change the colour of them? I think we did. Um right, so let's pick a good colour. Alvira's cheeks. We'll put them on a new layer. So, uh, won't let me click on Carolyn Merrill. Let me look on graphic scale. Uh, Merrill's got pink cheeks. Carol's got even lighter cheeks. We'll just pick a colour that complements her complexion, I guess. Um, She looks very embarrassed like that, so maybe make them a little bit more subtle. Get rid of the ones behind. Okay, so let's sort those lips out. Did we, do we still have that picture of that dwarf? We do. Um, okay. The shape is very different actually. I'm gonna I'm going to No, not all of it. Let's just copy that for a sec. Yes, 
Okay, so I'm tempted to use those and just read colour. Because the shape is a lot better than how it is here. Actually, instead of doing it on the same layer, I'm going to do a layer on top of it that's plain colour. And then I can use a blending mode to blend it in better. Probably easiest. Yeah, actually, I'm going to just do this. I could... Mm. Remember guys, this is very out of my comfort zone. I am no artist. Um, okay. Oh, is that the same colour as Cow the Barrel's red? No, it's a bit brighter actually. I'd say there's a little bit of an improvement with those lips compared to the old disastrous ones. Okay, let's delete those other ones. Um, okay, cheat these, whatever you call them, these lines here. forever thank you so much for that right welcome guys orbital beetle welcome to the stream how are you all doing did you have a, a nice stream let's give a shout out to nutella i love your name i'm a big fan of nutella so of course i love your name 
You was playing some retro? What, what, what game were you playing? Tell us, tell us how your stream went. And how are you guys doing? Thank you for, for coming here to our lovely little, to our lovely little stream and bringing your peoples out over. It's lovely to meet you all. If you want to know more about our project, feel free to have a read of that command. We're doing some assets today. Um, not usually something we do on these streams assets because we take a lot of re other resources but sometimes we have to create our own original assets um, if, we, if we're trying to create something super specific and unique and that's what we're doing today we're, uh, we're making some barrels some sentient barrels this is our grandma one okay so let's get we're just trying to make her look super old and stuff and i think we're not doing too bad it's definitely been a challenge this uh this one has she's gonna be awesome when she's done Hi Rose, hi Gresh, how are you doing? It's good to see you as well. How did you stream guy the other day? I believe he was playing Dragon Age, wasn't he? It's a, game, a series I've always wanted to get into. Because it's Bioware. And I liked that other game, Mass Effect. Wow, she's looking uh, like a very angry old lady at the moment. Okay, so let's fix what we feel needs to be fixed. The, the cheeks, the actual cheek bits, I've got to tidy those up a bit. Also, thinking... There's like a bazillion layers here. <laughs> uh, right, um, I'll make a new layer, I think, for this bit. Okay, so she needs some eyebrows, um, and we'll just fix the, the cheek weird bit here, make sure everything's all good with her, just, ti just tidying up things really now with uh, Alvira, which she's getting there, um, right. Should we give her a top part to her glasses? I'm unsure about that decision at the moment. Why aren't we having a straight line? There we go. Went really well. Sorry for my bad manners asking for hosts. Didn't think before typing. Well, I, I don't mind Gretchen, you seem like a nice person and you're, you're in this part of this community. So, I, I'm not usually, it's, it's definitely cheeky boy, I wasn't offended at all. So, um, it's mainly if people are randoms, you know, and, and ask then it would probably be a, a bit bad. Man Man has helped me find another amazing streamer, mind you. Really, Zach, so I, I'm, I'm interested in that story. Hi, A Sam. How you doing, Sam? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. 
which is uber fun to hang out with and listen to. Well, oh, thank you, Zaxi. That means the world. That looks like Katassi is such a great artist. Thank you, Gretch. I'll try my best to put something together, I guess. I'm doing my best to make a, an awesome family of barrels. <laughs> I want to make them, most of all, look different from each other and stand out. That's sort of the goal. Give them, give them a personality. Pretty fine. Thanks. How about you? I'm doing good, Sam. Welcome to the stream. Feel free to tell us a bit about yourself if you'd like to. We're friendly, aren't we, guys? We like meeting new peoples. Okay, so we need eyebrows. We need eyebrows for Alvira. I was going to give her glasses a top part, but something about that makes me... I'm not sure. It actually looks okay like that. Funnily enough, I think it does. Um, but let's get the eyebrows first, because that'll make a difference maybe these ones obviously will change them to she looks so uh, she looks so peed off Looks so mad. She <laughs> looks just so mad. It's just the face that happened to, and we end end up with, you know. But she is she she you know she's a bit of a prude. She don't approve of Meryl and the oil drum being together. So I think it, it sort of works. I'm just gonna get some more eyebrows though, just to make sure. There's not any others that might work better. Uh, Lai, thank you for the for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome. It's good to meet you. What do you think? Ang angry Alvira with the pointy slanted eyebrows or, or arched eyebrow Alvira. obviously we got it we, she can't be blonde so we're gonna um, I mean Carol the Barrel's the true angry one you know so that's the only reason I'm unsure about making Alvira look super angry, because Carol's the angry one. The angry sassy one, should I say. Arched eyebrows are more of a we are not amused, which I like. Yeah, I feel, I think it could work for Alvira. I'm just thinking of the positioning of these. Hmm. Same as the kegs ring, like I've done now. That's kind of the, the plan. That's the pattern we've been going with with the characters. So, yeah, I think it definitely looks... I think that's the good way to do it anyway. I'm thinking... I'm unsure about showing the, these dark a bit so I wanna might go over them. But let's just not make it look too burnt. We'll do that. Okay, now I guess it's just tidying things up now. So this is Carol. This is Meryl. And this is Alvira. So we're just going to tidy her up a bit. I'm not sure about the highlight on the nose. Should we move that into another position maybe? Move it more across like that. Should 
to make it maybe a touch darker. Now I feel it's too far across, just one pixel. Oh no, we don't want the whole nose moving. Maybe that. Okay, the cheeks. We need to sort those out. Maybe tidy the lips up just a little bit. Um, and we're nearly there. I'm always a fan of our eyebrows, they're fun. Yeah, uh, yeah, they are. I feel like, yeah, we needed somebody with arched eyebrows. I think it does suit her. She she does, she does doesn't look amused, but uh, she was a bit angry with the slanted ones, I feel. But I still think she looks a bit annoyed, which is great. We've kept the non-amused look. Thank you, Sam. Also, new people, so like, if you want to... Have a peek at what we what we've done in the streams before. Like we've got all the vods on the YouTube, so feel free to have a peek. We also have a story so far video. I always kind of spam these because I like peeps to know about them. So the the story so far will tell you exactly what has happened. We've only got one at the moment because we're still very early in the game, but um, probably. At some point in February, I'll be doing the next one. Because we might have a bit more story to add by then. All going well. If we stay on track. I'm just wondering if we should add that extra nostril. I know. It's a tough one. if we do add an extra nostril it might have to be a bit more sort of in colour perhaps also oops I got rid of the colour I was after I'm not sure about this colour it's looking a bit purple these here so I might just make a change to those hmm there we go maybe that Right. So I'm just thinking maybe a touch less these cheeks. Just maybe make them stand out just a little bit less because Carol's and Meryl's are a little bit more fight faded. That's what we did, that's what they were before. Put them on 60%, there'd be something like that. Let's just see how she looks compared to the others. Okay. So. 
she, does she is she missing some eyelashes maybe my gosh my tummy is doing the rumbles also the cheeks are a bit thick so we'll fix those um should we just copy and paste meryl's cheeks and then change them to the color we want maybe how did we do that Yeah, for some reason Alvira's cheeks are a bit too big. I don't know why that is, but um, right, so just need to pick a good colour for them, I guess. And we had a sort of peach colour before. Does everyone think that colour that we had was okay, or does anybody think perhaps another colour could look good for the colour of her cheeks? She'd look super embarrassed if she had red cheeks, maybe. Maybe something like that, maybe. Hi Storm, how are you doing? You like the peach more than any other colours? Probably goes the most. Yeah, so maybe something like that. I'm only thinking now, with Neely there, um, just maybe, I think she's lacking some eyelashes maybe just i'm not sure about the the actual eye shape so i'm just gonna have a just so out of curiosity to see how some others look um but if we like these ones then we'll keep them um How are you doing, Storm? Now I hope you're having a, a good a good day. Okay, there's just a couple here. They might look awful, but you never know. So what's that one? Just hide that for a sec. These ones look like un not amused lady eyes, I have to say. What do you reckon, guys? She definitely looks like a unamused. <laughs> she looks frightening. She looks absolutely frightening. But I will. <laughs> My goodness, Alvira. So, if we go, if we do go for those ones, I, I weirdly like them. I don't know why, but I do. I think she looks cool. Hi, Ghosty. Hello, I'm back. I love you. Thank you for the bit as early, Ghosty. I hope you're doing good. How's things going? And hi, Nas, as well. Which barrel do we have today? We're getting on with Alvira today. She's almost she's almost there. And then we've got good old Hank to do. Not as frightening as when you forget the pupils. I know, right? Let's see what she looks like without pupils. Hot. She looks... This is that something out of a horror. Let's give her them pupils immediately. Thank you for the sub, ghosty. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Can we have some hype for just a ghost girl, guys? Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. I appreciate you. Thank you for the support. How is everything going? How's your cosplays and all your shoots and stuff is going, guys? Do you hope life's been treating you well? I'm going to give Ghosty some hype myself. Did someone say cosplay? Yeah. Ghosty, let me give you her... Uh, Instagram link. I 
I think that's it. Let's let, let me click. Sorry, this page isn't available. So that isn't ghosties. No, ghosty. Watch your Instagram. I thought that was it. Oh, she doesn't have cosplay at the end. That's it. That's it. That's what the problem was. You just took out the cosplay. Yeah, we got it now. Um, if you want to have a peek, Naz, um, that's Ghost's Instagram. Naz, your fiance and I go cosplaying every year. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. That's that's. I, it's something I wish I could do more, but it's just expensive. I'm terrible at crafting and making stuff. And it's time as well. But it's... I always admire people that do it. Thank you, Rose. You're welcome. You're super welcome. And go see Final Fantasy VII. Remake is coming out soon. Are you going to be getting it? She went as Princess Bubble, Bubblegum. Awesome. If you want to share uh, any selfies or cosplays in our... Um, discord nas in in the appropriate channel feel free to would love to say no shame in that no no i'm so excited absolutely i'm i'm gonna be getting it on release why is my webcam going all blurry all of a sudden i think rose Rarbear has scared my, my webcam so excited i'm yeah i'm getting it on release i don't i rarely buy games on release in all honesty but this one that i just have to because it's final fantasy 7 it's it was literally the game that made me fall in love with rpgs um okay so i just want to make her eyes a touch darker and there's just a couple of tiny little things to to tidy up and then we can move on to Hank. I think the reason why the colour isn't changing, oh because we're not on the right thing that's why, there we go. Okay. Fantasia, thank you for that host. How are you doing today, Fantasia? Happy Monday. Um, right, so literally just this cheek bit here, which And I just want to tidy up the lips, just a touch. Alvia looks like a barrel you don't want to mess with. I know, I'm glad I've got that look down for her because I think that's kind of what we was going for with Alvira. She's um she's kind of got a bit of prudeness about her. She thinks she's this antique barrel. She really thinks a lot of herself. Um but I think she's got a good heart, you know. She cares about she cares about her family and Carol and Meryl. But she's awesome. All right, I'm all right with her now. Um, right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna flatten 
Well, I'm going to merge all these. Like, actually, before I merge them, I'm going to save. And then I'll merge them. Um, now let's go back to graphic scale. And let her join the rest of the crew. So I'm going to make a layer. Call it face for a... Um, do that. Oh, now, yeah, we got to colour in. Once again, the eye bits disappear because they're the transparent colour, but we can just fill them in again. She looks creepy when her eyes are like that. Um, and... I'm going to get rid of ev all the rest of... Just for a sec, because I don't, I only want the bit of a fa Elvira's face there. I don't want. There we go. Now we can put the layers back. There we go. So she is should be everything should be lined up with her. Yep. Everything's as it should be. My goodness. Um okay. I mean I'd say Alvira is nine to five percent done. I make I might make a few adjustments to her off stream, um, just tidying up, cut changing colour just a touch if I feel I have to. But she's getting there now, um, and I think I just don't want her barrel to be too close to Carol's colour, so I might make her a touch darker. But she's getting there. Now we got Hank. So should we get his his barrel in Photoshop now? Um, we can get rid of the references now. My goodness, my tummy's rumbling. I'm gonna have to have something to eat. Coella, absolutely. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, which is ironic because when I think of Alvira, I think of the mistress girl. Who's the mistress girl? And she's super charismatic. For some reason, I imagine she would have a long cigarette, a bit like Audrey had burning breakfast at Tiffany's or like Coella de Vil. Oh my goodness. You know? We might add that if we if we would, might be able to do that off stream because this is I might make a little adjustment to her a cup just a, a touch so maybe maybe I'll give her a give give her a seat a long cigarette I'll be a mistress of the night just to, if it if it'll help add a bit of personality to her then totally I'm gonna. Is Alvira the mistress of a night a real thing? Or is that the name you've given our Alvira? Because I'm, I'm going to put it in Google. Oh, there is actually an Alvira mistress of the night. Yeah, she looks super charismatic. She looks like someone you wouldn't want to mess with either. Because she totally beat you up. That's for sure. Oh, you've sent a picture as well. Thank you. <laughs> Either a long cigarette or some hair curlers perched at the top of her barrel. Yeah, I'm thinking long cigarette. I did like, I definitely think that's pretty cool. Um, 
So, we'll say I'd buy for Alvira for now, but I'm very tempted to add that cigarette um, off stream. Um, because tomorrow we'll be carrying on with these, but we'll be doing the last two characters, Woody and uh, and a, the other nameless one. So I'm excited to do those guys. But it'd be super cool if we can get Frank done. To, Frank, why do I call, keep calling him Frank? His name's Hank. If we can get Frank done today, his face, then that'll be really cool. So um, I would spend a bit more time in Alvira, but just because I'm desperate to do Hank, we'll uh, we'll move on to him for now. Okay, so save these I'm gonna but what I am gonna do let me just do something just so I don't forget I won't forget but just to be on the safe side what I am gonna do is put here put long cigarette Because that's a good reference, the Audrey Hepburn one. Okay, so that's, that's what we'll do. <laughs> you said, why do I keep calling Frank? And then I called him, then, then called him Frank again. Oops, I did it again. I don't know why. Why do I keep calling him Frank? I don't even understand. I think it's because it rhymes with Hank, but I should be calling him Hank. So Hank, he's grey and he's, gray and he ha he's gonna have a moustache. And he's also gonna have a hole and black broken plank as well, but we'll add those to him afterwards. So. We will copy this and call it Hank the Barrel. And also, let me show you guys Photoshop so you can see what we're doing. Okay. So, we finally got a guy barrel to do. Barrel Chan. Hi, G Fun. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Right, so Hank. What I am going to do, guys, is. Just going RPG Maker again, and we're going to have a look at what moustaches we've got. And eyes as well. Some good old man eyes. He's a sad barrel, you know, because he's disabled. I don't want to, like, literally give him tears, but if we can make his eyes look sad, we can pick some sad eyes for him. That'll be awesome. Um, hmm. Let's get the moustache first. He's not going to have a beard, just the moustache. There! Perfect. Um, obviously he's going to be grey. Uh, I'm only use, doing this as a sort of reference, like a guide, a template, just so I know what um, what ones to open from the generator when we make Hank. Um, now maybe we can see what eyes go best. My goodness, those eyes and that, you know, they look super creepy. Oh, there's something about those eyes that are really charming, maybe them ones. You know, I am tempted to go for those ones. I 
And may maybe the same nose that we used for for Alvira, to be honest. And I think that might work. So let's have a look if we if we bring those particular features into Photoshop, what it'll look like. I'm I'm excited to see. Barrel Grandpa, indeed. Does he keep getting shouted at by his wife? Probably. I can imagine Alvira being the boss of the relationship, you know, with her cigarette. And him with his broken barrel. It's tragic. Hank's, Hank's my favourite just because he's so tragic. Um, okay, face, mail. Get the the eyes in that I saw and then we'll get the moustache in as well um, where are those eyes? I liked them were they those ones? no give me more guys because I've got a bazillion trillion assets here to to get to look at. I think the I think actually these were the eyes. So um, delete those ones. We'll just stick them anywhere for now and we'll get the moustache. He's not gonna look complete until he's got his moustache, I'll tell you that. Um get that moustache now. I need that moustache. Hi Di, hi D4, Di, welcome. That's some interesting characters. Hope you all come be safe, hydrated, have a wonderful stream chat, show some love and support, hugs and kisses. Thank you for stopping by and with such a lovely, lovely, lovely comment. I appreciate it, Diver. Um, if you want to, anybody who's new here, feel free to have a look at our project. Does he sell propane and propane accessories? Who knows? There's a definitely a lot to, to find out about them. He looks stressed out with those eyes. <laughs> Maybe he's, he's kept up all night with Alvira. Can you imagine how Alvira's like, Hank, put that down. Hank, pick that up. Hank just takes a deep sigh and he's like, yes, dear. <laughs> Aww. I love how you guys are coming up with these little, little uh, imaginary conversations for them because we will be having a flashback sequence with these guys when they're first introduced. Very soon we're going to be working on that. And, um... It'll be all about thinking of really funny things that they can say together. I woke up so late. Hello, oh, hi sick boy, how you doing? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a good Monday. You deserve a lion. Okay, so this was this one, the moustache. Let me find... Okay, so we've got two different moustache types. Are we going to see which one looks the best? Um, if we have to make it a bit bigger, we will. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> we haven't even done him yet. Okay, so. Which one is everybody's favourite moustache? Do you like the, the one that's more separated? Or the one that's more... I did, I, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what chat, which one chat like best, but the bigger one, 
also don't worry about size because if we do we can always resize it as long as it doesn't end up going too pixelated i guess but we can go just for the bigger one if that's the preference you like the big one too Pippi, everybody's going for big it seems like we've got four votes so let's go for that one i think both are adorable if you ask me so you like the rounded one van well that's totally fine you can you can like a different one i i look i thought that other one was cute as well but they're, they're both adorable but let's get these eyes in the right position because we want to make sure that he's in the position he should be so i'm just gonna this is cool. Oh, wow. When they're combined, him and Carol look very strange. <laughs> I have to say. Oh my god, that is horrifying. <laughs> so, nobody ever, please, don't do this again. Nobody. Once this is gone, that's the last I want to see of it because I'm going to have nightmares. So, <laughs> okay. I think every... things are in the right position now. Maybe. Yeah, maybe the tash needs moving more down there. Okay, so apparently that's the position. We can give him different colour. What, what sort of eye colour do you guys imagine for Hank? Has anyone got an eye colour in mind? I mean, the characters we've got so far, Carol's got uh, dark eyes, greeny, well, browny, greeny, dark uh, Meryl's got blue eyes. Alvira's got green eyes. So maybe Hank. The blue eyes actually go well with the grey. They don't look too bad at all. But I'm wondering if anybody has any thoughts. Good point, Van. I like the blue. We'll go for blue. Yeah, honestly, the other moustache could have worked as well. But I'm I'm going for this one simply because it was it ended up with the most votes overall. But they were both they were both excellent. Good old Hank. Okay, we need to give him a nose. Um, should we see what Alvira's nose looks like on him? We'll have to change the colours though. Uh, right, need to get this positioning right so yeah needs moving up one yeah i think that's the exact positioning oh we mi we missed a bit of no we didn't miss a bit of nose i think we did though because alvira's glasses is covering some of the nose so one sec we just could go there a sec we can get the rest of the nose in. Okay, so let's make this nose the right colour and give him some eyebrows and a mouth. And that'll be it. I mean, I, I really like the moustache being the majority of the mouth. I think that's quite a, 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 an endearing look for Hank. But uh, we'll see. Okie doke. 
And also, don't forget, we still got to do that hole and broken plank. So there's a, a long way to go with Hank's design. He's going to look so good when he's done. Okay. Was X, wasn't it? That's it. What a cute granddad. Okay. Oops, we want to be careful not to, you know, make the moustache go too. Let's just, uh, we'll just add a bit more to the moustache just so it blends in a bit better. Um. Oh, that's, that was the problem. I was like, where's the rest of the moustache? And it was under a layer. Another layer. There we go. So. This purple bit here. Let's make it a bit more grey. Okay, so eyebrows. I feel like he shouldn't have the cheeks like the others do because it would make him look like a lady, probably. Who agrees that he shouldn't have the cheekbones? <laughs> He'd look like a lady. So maybe just make Hank not have those because of him being a a dude. Um, but he should. We'll give him some eyebrows. I think that'll make a difference to him. But he's like already nearly done. Um, well, he isn't because he's got to have his hole and broken plank. Um, right, eyebrows. Let's get the most. Let's get the eyebrows that make him look like the cutest old man in the world. He's got to look cute, okay? I'm taking no for an answer. Right. See, I'm looking for scared eyebrows. Because... 
because he's meant to be well not so much necessarily scared but definitely like sad distressed i don't know he's not a happy barrel is he so um feels like it's, it's good all, all the barrels have very different personalities i'm happy there's some eyebrows here let's see how these ones look oh my goodness he looks so scared we've got to make them we've got to make them the same color as a <laughs> he looks scared oh my god We can try and make them a bit bushier though, maybe. Right, so... It's a lovely accent Tiva's theme in the background. Thank you, Necron. Yes, I'm a big fan of the Final Fantasy soundtracks. So we, we tend to listen to them on stream while we work on our game. Having cheekbones be a feminine feature to distinguish between male and female by a bad way to handle it for sure. Yeah, I agree for sure, Zexy. And how are you doing, Necron? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for stopping by. Um so these brows need sort of fixing a bit because they're a bit square if we're gonna have them that is i still want to have a look at what other options we've got for the brows but i just want to be careful with hank because i want him to keep that very endearing vulnerable look about him um we don't want him looking too fierce and if we go for other eyebrow shapes maybe he would But we will be doing a variety of expressions for the barrels. Like, I'll be making different avatars where their eyebrows and mouths are positioned a bit different so that we can create some expressions. I feel that that's important. Um, but I suppose the ones we're creating will work as their default avatar. I'm great, thank you. So glad I stopped by. Yay! I appreciate you being here. And anybody who's who's like just popped in and is curious about our stream, we have a couple of commands here. Feel free to have a peek. Okay, so now we need a mouth for Hank. And yeah, I want I don't I want the mouth to go very well with the moustache, ideally. <laughs> so um 
I'm just gonna have a let's have a look at the RPG maker generator again and see what mouths we've got that can go And these will probably all be human skin colour again, so we'd have to edit it so it works for Hank. Probably something very simple like that. Just a line, basically. Yeah, it's going to be human skin colour. Boo. Um. I think because we don't have to mess around with lipstick and all that like we did for the ladies, um, it's going to be a little bit easier. If we make it grayscale, will that be... So, Oh, this is exciting. Look at the story so far. Thank you, Necron. It's very exciting for us as well to put something together bit by bit gradually. And I'm, I'm excited because, like, it's only just the last few, couple of streams that we've made more of more barrel characters and it's been fun. And I'm, hi, my name is uh, uh, Chef. Uh, welcome to the stream, Chef. Um, chef. What, what the hell is this? Something very, very unusual and weird that you wouldn't see every day, that's for sure. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, let, I'll give you the project command as well, Chef. If you want to have a little read or anybody else who's lurking. Um, okay. So we need we need it there. In here. I don't know about the line, I'm not sure. How does it look without it?
Nice, what's the percentage of it being done? Well, um, the game is going to be episodic releases, so um, we're looking to release the first episode some point this year in 2020. Um, it just uh, definitely suits the nature of our project, I'd say, to release it as an episode, because it's a pretty big beast, you know, it's, it's going to be an epic fantasy. So at least you guys will have something to play before 2030 or something. So yeah, it's it's uh it's super exciting. We've been last nine months or so. We've been I'd started streaming this, but it's only the last three or four months. It's been a regular thing, and uh, so yeah, we we've we're doing quite well with the first dungeon and era of the game. We've been working on the first boss and. Things are going together well. Um, so we, I can't give you a percentage because it's it's pretty difficult to imagine the game as a whole game at the moment. Um, it's one of those things where we're going to just see where it goes as we create more episodes. Because we, we kind of improvise the story, we improvise everything about it really. Sweet, I just joined your Discord. I love Final Fantasy and I'm 100% intrigued. Awesome, Molly, we're glad to have you with us, Nacron. It's lovely to, to have someone who seems like a very nice person hanging out. Just lurking so I can listen to your accent while I work. Hi, SF, F, F, S4F. Welcome back to the stream. It's good to have you back. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. We're aiming for half a percent per year, right, Rose? Yes. It's, it's one of those things, it's... Sometimes things get slower, sometimes things get productive, but it's just, it's really fun to see us slowly add more over time. And just watching the old YouTube videos on our, um, because we're uploading all the VODs, you can just see exactly how far we've come since some of the earlier streams. It's so hard to imagine the scope sometimes. It is, and I think it just takes the pressure off to not imagine it as a whole project. That's a big reason why having it episodic is it's very fun, and it's more it's just more exciting to think of it being released in little small small parts rather than one big huge thing. That can be quite quite a big deal and quite overwhelming actually. Okay, so. This is Hank. He is a grandpa barrel, and I think he is he's basically done. Well, he's not done because he's disabled and he has to have a hole and a broken plank. But we're gonna add those extra bits shortly. Um oh my goodness, it's pouring down with rain outside. So we'll save him. I'm going to I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's very heavy rain. Hopefully it's just the music that you can hear. I apologise if you can hear the rain. <laughs> Some people like uh, the sound of rain. It's kind of like ASMR to, to some people. Okay, so back to our crew. Now... Right, a layer for Hank's face. Okay, oh yeah, we missed that bit on his eye. It goes transparent, so I have to do the white bits again. Um, right, so, just want his face, so. Okay, so I think there, yeah, 
So, they're getting their aloe vera and hank. I'm going to really tidy them up off stream. Um, just I just want to tidy aloe vera up a bit. Maybe just make a few little slight colour changes. But she's... She, how she looks is pretty much what she is going to be facial feature wise but I just want to make sure the colours look good and I'm going to add a cigarette as well a Audrey Hepburn style she looks like a proper snooty lady and um, Hank's going to have a hole he's going to be the disabled sad barrel um and obviously this is Meryl, the flirty sister of Carol. And this is our main character, Barrel, character, Carol the Barrel. She's a, she's a Sunday. She's very, very aggressive, very sassy lady. Um, and we've got two more as well coming up. But they're not Barrels. So let's just peek at our uh, list. Carol's friend Woody, an insecure cardboard box who makes everyone call him Woody. So he's going to be fun to do. And then we've got Carol's son, who is currently unknown, but we will be doing a poll about probably tomorrow or Wednesday, whenever we get him done, his asset, basically. Um, and he's a small, adorable cookie jar. So what they've all got in common is that they're all containers, basically. And it's part of the story. And very, very important to the main plot, these guys are. Um, so, uh, it's going to be fun. I'm really going to look forward to doing that, that first scene. Hey, Rose and Chat. Hi, Living on Edge. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. How is, how is your week going? Muting for a set, be be no problem now. Nice. Where are you? Oh, what was the what was the uh, context of that necron? I forgot. <laughs> Sometimes I end up forgetting. Okay, folks, I'm gonna give myself another piece of chocolate. Do you guys like these? Hi Pixel, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, what country am I from? Oh right, I'm from England. Um, somewhere in the middle. That's where I am. So who's everybody's favourite barrel? I mean, Alvira and Han can't quite complete yet. So we got to add their cigarette their holes and that. But they're getting there. So the plan is, I'll be finalising Alvira and Hank tonight off stream. Um, and we'll be starting Woody and the Cookie Jar tomorrow. And they're our final two um, characters that we need for now. Um, so it's all saved, I hope. Yeah, everything's all saved. Okay, and let's have a peek at her. What we've got here. So this is our list of things to do for January, basically. I also do have a Trello page. Um... And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that up to date too, and update it every whenever I can. But sometimes it's it's also easy to just get everything on a a blank page like this and what has to be done as well. Um, so really, once we've got the companion assets done, which is this line here, do assets for Carol's companions. We've already done the fruits. That was super good as well. If you haven't seen our fruit characters so far, then defo check out the VODs um, because they're awesome. Um, and then once that's all done, it's all about cutscenes really after that. Be having a very, very busy set of cutscene streams coming up um, for the rest of the month. 
and also we will just be finalizing the the boss battle as well the fruit boss battle which we've really made good progress with but we do need to get phase two sorted and just tidy things up with our battle add some animations and sound effects and stuff but i feel like we'll it will probably return to that once we work start working on cutscene um d um cutscene d and e are like the sandwiches for the boss battle basically um and that's when we'll encounter the fruits and that'll be a su super cool conversation we'll, we'll we'll revisit the boss battle when we when we uh, work on that, but we do have cutscene A, B and C to do as well, which is all very much barrel focused, which is the guys we've been working on. So it's going to be super fun. Very productive stream so far. Four assets built is really neat. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Considering uh, asset creation can be a re really time consuming thing in general, which is why I'm not doing the bulk of the assets for this project. Uh, most of them I'll be, you know, taking from free resources because it just saves so much time but yeah i do like that we do have our own original assets in it as well just to add that unique uh, mark to our game um hat to us because i love your accent well thank you necron i really really like that compliment about my accent it's it's uh, it's always good to hear that people like to listen to me because as a streamer you know that is a an important thing for sure well you've been putting a lot of work into this and having the community help is such an awesome idea it is it's honestly like if it wasn't for the people hanging out here in the community we wouldn't have what we've got these barrels that we've got here would not exist if it wasn't for the community so it's we are coming up with such a crazy cute quirky game just from like bringing all our ideas together it's tons of fun and um anybody that's new and just coming to the stream for a time first time like just just get involved we're very friendly very welcoming um to new peoples and we want as many people to enjoy this as possible okay guys so i am gonna put an end to the stream now um so because i'm, I'm yeah, I usually finish about this time, around six, basically. But uh, I'm I'm a bit dehydrated today. I'm a dehydrated one, so I'm gonna not. I'll try and not push myself. Now have have some food, have a drink, have a relax, and do some assets before I go to sleep today. Thank you for the stream. Thank you, Gretch. I appreciate you hanging out, Gretch. And I hope you enjoy the rest of Dragon Age as well. Definitely want to be involved. Yay! Awesome. So everybody, join the Discord if you want to, you know, get the announcements of when we go live. Any any news to keep updated or just general chatting off stream, in between streams. Discord's the place to be. We also do all our voting on Discord when it comes to polls and decisions with the game as well. Which you can see all those polls on our Trello um we, we i've been putting up screenshots of those polls on there um and yeah so i'll see you guys tomorrow same time and we'll carry on with these assets so we'll we'll be getting these guys done this week pretty sure of that um maybe even at the end of tomorrow's stream we'll be making good progress it all depends how woody and the cookie jar go those guys are going to be more challenging to do because they're a complete new object it's not just to copy and paste in the barrels that we've already got so we'll see how that goes it'll be lots of fun see you tomorrow stay safe have some then thank you normally i do a raid after stream but i'm gonna go straight off today just because um I, I need I need some water. I'm getting a bit dehydrated, so straight off today. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for being fantastic. I appreciate you all. Have a great Monday, all.